What separates you from others? I'll tell you what separates you from others. After losing every battle, you are finally going to win the war. And by that I mean you're going to have a plan of action and you're going to stick to that plan of action until you get to the Philippines and complete what you started back home however long ago. For some people it's not possible to come here straight away, perhaps financially or other reasons, but eventually you will find your way here, whether it's to live or merely to meet a Filipina, to marry and to take her back home. That's what separates you from other people. That's not to say everybody wants to come to the Philippines nor find a Filipina. That's not what I mean. What I mean is there are people that will never do anything in their lives. They'll sit there, they'll moan, they'll sit there, they'll complain and life passes them by. You can't be like that. You have to be a doer and I know you are a doer. That's what separates you from other people. Once you're here, never lose sight of what you've done, of how hard the journey was to get here. And enjoy life. You will enjoy life. There'll be days when perhaps you miss home. There'll be days when maybe you have an argument with your Filipina and you think, what the hell was all this for? But that's perfectly normal. Just never give up. You will love your life here. Some people don't. And for some, they last six months, a year, I don't know. And then they go back home. That's fine, at least they tried. But you don't want to be like that. You want to be somebody that stays and enjoys. It's not hard to enjoy the Philippines. You've just got to get your mindset in the right way. Understand, the Philippines is not the West and the West is not the Philippines. Things will be different. Some things will be the same. So don't think it's a million miles different. But essentially, it's a different culture. It's a different climate, especially if you come from the UK. And those kind of things you will adjust to. Maybe not 100%, but enough to feel comfortable. And that's all you need to do. Life back where you are is a drudge. It's dreary. You can predict what's going to happen. Tomorrow, the same as today. Today, the same as yesterday. Nothing different. That's why you're different to everybody else. Because everybody else will sit there and do nothing. But I tell you what everybody else would do. They'll laugh at you. They'll try and put you off. They'll try and say you're being scammed. They'll try a million ways to get you not to come here. Because they're unhappy with their own lives, why should you be happy? If I'm unhappy, what the hell are you contemplating being happy for? No, stay here with me and be miserable until we both die. Don't listen to those people. Do what you have to do to find your place, excuse the pun, in the sun. Time is ticking away. I keep saying it and I can't stress it enough. I bet there was a time you were 18 years old. I bet there was a time when you were 15 years old. I bet there was a time when you were 25 years old. And I'm pretty sure I'd win the bet to say you're none of those ages now. You see, time is going. And even if you're in your mid-30s and you think, well, I've still got enough time, it will go. Blink two times and it's gone. You're different to everybody else because you are going to find exactly what you want in life. And it's here in the Philippines. There are plenty of Filipinas for you, for you and you. Research, research, research and stick to your guns. Stick to what it is you want from a Filipina. Do not compromise one jot and you will find exactly the person you've been seeking your entire life. How do I know I'm just one person? Well, I can only speak in terms of I did it. I made it through the rain. You've got to make it through the rain too because you're different from the others. No one's going to help you make it through the rain. Like I just said, 
They'll try and dissuade you. They'll try and convince you you're making a mistake because their lives have been a mistake. Don't listen to them. Listen by all means to any positive criticism. That's fine. But not straightforward. Don't go there. You're making a mistake. I wouldn't do that if I were you or you or not them. Listen, you're more than likely not going to find your dream ever where you are. Because one would assume you would have found her a long, line, a long, long time ago, plus that life that you wanted. So what can you lose by coming here? Maybe it doesn't work out. And as I said, not everybody wants to come to the Philippines and live. They just want to meet a Filipina. I would guess the vast majority of people just want to meet a Filipina, marry her and take her back home. Come here and see. See if it's for you. See if Filipinas are for you. I can't think for the life of me why they wouldn't be. Are there bad Filipinas? Of course there are. Are there ones that will scam you? Of course. But that exists everywhere. That's why you must do your research and run. Run a mile if you see anyone who's about to scam you or is scamming you. Come here, see if you like it. And the chances are you will. And the chances are you've just given yourself a birthday present, a Christmas present, a Thanksgiving present, whatever you want to call it. You've made your life complete. Stay back there. Watch these types of videos. Dream, dream and do nothing. And you know what? Nothing will change. Nothing will ever change for you. There was a while when I dreamt. Nothing changed. Dreams are for people that are sleeping. That's why you're different from the others. Because you're going to put your plan of action into action. Like I said, perhaps your time isn't this year. Perhaps it's a few years away. Research in the meantime. If that's all you can do, and save, save money for that moment when you are ready. Cock the gun, pull the trigger. Do the thing that you must do. Do the thing that's the right thing for you. Don't try and please others by saying you're right. I probably get scammed. You're right. I probably get murdered out there. You're right. What would she love me for? You're right. You're playing into their hands. You're playing into their negativeness. Let them live out their lives the way they've chosen to. Don't ever fall into that trap. You live your life the way it should be. I don't know how old you are. I don't know how many years you'll have left, but make those years count. I had somebody where I worked trying their hardest to convince me this was all wrong, to convince me I was being scammed, to convince me it won't work, you'll be back. Was she right? Of course she wasn't right. I kept telling her, you're wrong. I found the right person. How do you know? I wouldn't have done that if I was you. Well, you're a bloody woman. Of course you wouldn't have, unless you've got lesbian tendencies. You're in your mid-70s. Of course you bloody wouldn't. You're too old and you're a woman. I wouldn't have done that. I don't think you should do that. Stay here in your room. Stay here doing a job you don't like. Because I wouldn't do that. I'm only looking out for you. I'm only looking out for you. Yeah, you asshole. Looking out for yourself. I did not listen to her. Nor would I. I did what I had to do for moi. For me. And that's what you've got to do as well. Listen. Once you've met your Filipina. Either you've taken her back home 
or you're living here. Think back to that life you had. Think back, even if it's for one second, just think back to that shitty life you had. And now look at what you've got. Listen, go on match.com, plenty of fish, all the other crappy dating sites in your country and see. See if you're going to find your dream girl on there. I bet you're not, because not many exist. And you've got to be perfect to find your dream. Here, you've just got to be financially stable, a decent person, and just have that modicum of luck that you've met the right girl. Listen, yesterday has gone. Today, it won't last very long until tomorrow comes around. Make sure your tomorrows, make sure all of your tomorrows are the right tomorrows. Make sure you, not me, you are happy. Because you're not out to please me, you're not out to impress me, you're not out to impress your next door neighbour, you're not out to impress your co-workers, you're not out to even impress your family members. You're just out to find the life that you deserve. You're just out to find the life you haven't been able to find any other way. If the Philippines was full of Filipino scammers and that was it, then nobody, no foreigner, would have any good stories to tell you. I've had nightmare stories with Filipinas. I've documented them in my videos. So believe me, I'm not trying to say every Filipina is magic and you're going to be blessed. No, no, no. You do need some luck, but you also need to do research. And if you see any, and I mean A-N-Y, any red flags, act upon them. Do not just bury your head in the sand and ignore, because it will come back to bite your backside with a vengeance. You're not like everybody else because you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it through the rain.